Oh my goodness! Found him! I went to go check it out one last time. And I found it. Oh! I am such a legend right now. Okay, I think I only need three. That wolf is very really scary. Okay. Heading back. Heading back. Wait, that's his footprints. Shoot, where's mine? Where are my footprints? Here they are. Oh, come on. Where are they? Where are they? Okay. Well, I, I'm, I'm difficult to track, okay? Ah, right here. Over here, I believe. Yes. An elusive species, this one. Wait. Come on, where did where is it? Ah, it's right here. I found out I had a map, so that's handy. Yes, there we go. Okay. Am I saved? Am I am I uh, am I a cured cured woman? Alright. Um, I need to prepare them, I think. Okay, so yeah, so that stays at 90 for a little bit. I, um, I, I don't know if it stays at 90. It probably, it might, like, be a chance thing. It might be like, oh, you might gain an infection, you might not. But, uh, yeah. How am I doing? Okay, that's good. Alright, so, um, I need, I need, I need to put this on it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yay. Okay, you can go over there. You're very loud. All right, so back to sleep. Back to sleep. And onward we press, and oh, it's freezing. Like, okay, it's, pro it's not surprising that it's freezing. It's surprising that it's really freezing. That is so cold. And I don't have any, uh any, what do you call it, sewing kits, so I can't make my clothes better. I can't patch them up at all. So, I have to wear these junky clothes that, that I'm wearing, and they're not very good, as evidence that I am, I am a three quarters away from death, from freezing. Not death, but very close to death. So I need to quickly make it over here. And I studied the map. I studied the map, and I know where to go. I probably should have taken the bridge. It's fine. It's whatever. We're making it. Let's go to the smoke. I think. Yeah. 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 We're going. We're going there. We're going there. We're not. I'm not going to do this side quest. I think it's a side quest. Let's just make sure. Yeah. It's it's a side quest. I I I might. Who knows? If my condition is a little bit better right now, it's kind of hurting. Kind of hurting pretty bad. But. uh... Once it's better, then I'll go. But I, I'm not risking it. I'm not risking dying. I'm on the hardest mode. I'm not risking it. I wonder who's out there. Probably. Yes, I'm talking, woman. Shush. Probably. Oh. Maybe that community hall from the flyer. Oh, oh yes. Let's let's go bingo night. Yes. This is just like. Back in the olden days, with horse and buggy, except I'm walking, and it's freezing, and there are wolves everywhere, and I have hypothermia, but just like back in the olden days. So I, I wonder if uh, that woman is here, Molly, or whatever his name is, I wonder if she's here. She ran away like that. Like, where was she? Where'd she go? I don't know. She has a body in, in in uh her basement that's probably her husband now that i think about it that body is probably her husband's can i go in here well let's just go into somebody's house honestly i always like doing that i always like going to the smaller things and then and then finally to like the big big things do you have anything in your fridge ah Huh, hmm, okay. Good stuff. 
Can opener. Yes, please. Do you have anything in your microwave? Probably not, because it doesn't even work. Don't have any any of the hydro. It's a nice, nice little place. Oh, I need clothes. Give me clothes. Okay, not that clothes. I'll take it, because I'll just tear it up and use it for, for cloth or something. I I can use this. Oh, yes, that's good. Except it's very, very... Okay, it says it will take a bit of a punish, but uh, it's taken quite a bit of punish already. So I don't like that. Do you have anything else? Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good. This and that's good. Handy. Yes, it is. Okay, well, not the best. Not the worst. Anything in your cabinet, sir? Yeah! A sewing kit? An ace. Ace sewing kit. Has like a serial number on the back or something. Alright. Well. I I, well, you have anything? You got your secrets? Secret stuff in here? No. You just got a stupid book. Okay. Got a gun in here? This will come in handy. Yes! A parka! Okay, can I put any of this stuff on? That will benefit me. I got a worn t-shirt. A worn t-shirt. And a decent thin wool sweater. Yeah, I'll put that on. What about my parka? Ooh. Ooh, no thank you. Probably just end up tearing you apart. Uh, well, I have a sewing kit. I'll, 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 I'll first go into... Well, that was... Oh, 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 spit it out, Junior. I'll go to the community hall and see what's there. And then kind of settle in. Settle in a bit. Crows. Where? Nice little, nice bonfire you got going on there, buddy boy. Oh my. What is... Uh-huh. Yes. I'll just, uh... Yikes! What is going on? On here. Should I go in there? Hello? That's my backpack. Wow. We Hello? Crazy old man? Oh. Hello. Did you come from the crash site like the others? All the cots are taken, but you can sit by the fire, warm up a bit. Crash site? How did you know about the- The crash site. Don't you remember? Another one suffering from shock, maybe. I crashed, but days ago, I'm far from here. No, no. You crashed yesterday. In the hills. A terrible crashing sound. I even heard it over the howling blizzard. Don't you remember? Listen, I, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. I crashed, but not here. Oh, of course. Well, please stay and warm yourself by the fire until we can figure out where you belong. So, these people are all survivors of a crash? Well, most of them, yes. There were maybe half a dozen people in and around the town site when the blizzard first hit. Over the past day or so, the rest have slowly arrived. Most of them from the crash site. What crashed? The passenger airliner, best I can tell. Most of the people who arrived were too weak to talk about it. But judging by the thundering sound and the size of the fire on the hills, Whatever crashed up there, it must have been something big. Are you sure you don't remember the crash? What is this place? This is the old community hall in Thompson's Crossing. We gathered people here when the weather started turning bad. Three, or was it four days ago? The houses became too cold. And it seemed better to bring everyone under one roof. Then yesterday, the crash survivors started showing up. 
How long do you think this weather will last? You're not from around here, are you? <laughs> Whoever named this area Pleasant Valley had a pretty good sense of humor. We get some of the harshest weather on all of Great Bear. But I mean, it's worse than usual? Yes. Another storm blew through about a few weeks ago. The worst I've seen in years. Blocked the roads in and out. I'm afraid we're stuck here until the road's clear. Will someone come to check on the town? Clear the roads so you can get out? I don't think so. Not anymore. We'll have to wait for nature to take its course. But what will happen to all these people? <coughs> Honestly, I'm not sure. We're down to our last food. We can melt snow for water, but that will only get us so far. At this time of year, there's always another blizzard around the corner. Things might be different if the power hadn't gone out. The best thing we can do is try to keep these people warm and fed, and then we'll see what the Lord has in store. You seem disoriented, but you're in much better shape than the others. Maybe you can help us. I'm a doctor. I can have a look at the survivors and uh, see how to help them. That sounds like a good place to start. Once you've had a chance to check on them, come back, and we can try to figure out what can be done for them. <coughs> well, 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 well. Chapter 2, Fallen Star. And apparently, I am in charge of taking care of all these sick, disgusting, disease-ridden people. Franklin? What are you doing here, Franklin? The turtle? Oh boy, what kind of a name is that? Dimitri? Oh my, my not nah, okay, never mind. Dimitri, that's the one. These guys don't even have names. You guys are nameless. You guys are nameless. I did not just try and jump on you right there. That's not why I pressed spacebar. Okay, Franklin. Let's start with you. I'm gonna check you over. Okay, you have a concussion caused by plane crash injuries. Needs time for, for rest. Okay, rest. I command you. I will be an excellent doctor. What about you, Bennett? Easy. Just gonna see if I can help. So, whack! Just punch him in the face. I'm here to help. Okay, so you're good. You guys are just suffering from, from Let's see what's wrong concussions. Here. Eric... You're like almost dead. You're dehydrated. We'll give you some water. You feel better after you sleep. Yeah, so just go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. What about you? You're the one that stole my backpack. Let's look at you. Give you a good look. Hypothermia? Nah, you'll be fine. As long as you stay in here. Fine. Okay. Whoa. Did you just walk? Didn't know you can do that. Hello? People are fine. They're just... Uh, whack. Okay. Yeah, they're just, they're just, they're just cold and they crash, for goodness sake. No wonder they're... Why is this person coughing, though? What's wrong with you? I don't know. Well, these... Everyone's all good. Hey, Dimitri. That's right. This forgot about you. Serious. Yeah, you're like... Oh, you have diabetes. You need insulin. Type 1 diabetes. Okay. Uh, unfor <laughs> unfortunately, I do not have insulin with me. So, you know. Sorry about that, Dimitri. Okay, so, sir. Sir. I've had a look at the survivors. Most are in fairly good condition given the circumstances. These were the lucky ones. You'll find the ones who were less fortunate in the basement. May God take mercy on their souls. They died from their injuries, or were found dead. We put them downstairs to keep the bodies cold. And also, well, there are wolves around, you see. 
Yes, I've seen them. I think I can find most of what these survivors need, but there is a diabetic in the group. They're gonna need insulin and soon. Do you know where I might find some? That's bad news. <coughs> no, I don't. This survivor has type 1 diabetes. That means their body can't produce insulin. If they don't get it, they'll eventually go into shock and probably die. Well, then we need to find some. And soon, before the blizzard becomes too powerful to even risk going outside. I need to remain with the survivors, minister to them. But you, you can go and look for the medicine they need. I will. Any suggestions you have would be very useful. Most of the surrounding houses will be empty, but you may find some of the minor supplies you need to treat the survivors. The diabetic came in from the plane crash a day, maybe two days ago. So your best chance to find their insulin will probably be to find their luggage at the crash site. How will I know which luggage is theirs? You'll have to search everything you find and hope for the best. Okay. You keep an eye on everyone and I'll be back as soon as I can. Thank you for your help. One more thing. Yes? Many of these survivors are in bad shape. From the crash, it's true. But I've seen this sort of thing before. People need hope to survive. And if they can't have hope, they need some closure. People here, many of them weren't traveling alone. They're broken-hearted, worried sick about their loved ones, feeling guilty. Why did they survive when others didn't? You can help them find some closure. But chances are searching the crash site won't be a pleasant experience. I've seen death before. Yes, you're a doctor, so you understand the fragility of human life. The fragility of the human spirit is more my domain. For the ones who've lost loved ones, if you can bring them some closure, that will help to start their healing process. Yes, it's well known that the mind and body are inextricably linked. If you encounter any artifacts, any information that would help to identify those who did not survive the crash, that information might be a salve to these poor broken souls. Then perhaps they'll have a chance to face tomorrow. I'll do what I can to find IDs, documents, anything that can help identify the people who didn't make it. In turn, take this, my child. Oh, um, I'm... I'm not religious. Please, keep it. It's not for you. Please, humor me. I... I don't understand. At least until I can minister to those souls myself. Having you carry this rosary while you investigate the crash site, it would bring an old priest some comfort. It will be the closest thing to my being able to pray for them. I mean, no disrespect, Father, but do you really believe this will help? Perhaps in the end, faith is all we have. All right, ministering to the to the sick, eh? You're more ministering to me. Okay. A lot of what he said makes sense there. I'll take your bandages just because you, you don't need them. Um, I'll just search this place a little bit. Got any food in here? Thank you. Don't look at me like that. You know what you're doing. Don't look at me. Thank you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> oh, we got that locked, eh? Why do you have the back door locked with the front one not? That doesn't make sense. Okay. So, I'll search this place. Get some cloth. Get another piece of cloth. And move on. Hello? So, you're 
you're still alive. So far, yeah. But there are people in town who won't be if I don't get going. You heading up to the plane crash? How'd you know that? You risked your life to come here to help some sick people. You came to help me when I was stuck in the barn. You're a doctor. You're not gonna leave a bunch of crash survivors to die in the cold. I would like to help the crash victims, yes. I wouldn't get your hopes up. A few days in this weather and with the wolves prowling? Doubt you'll find anyone alive out there. Let's hope you're wrong. Yeah, well... I left you a little present. Look, I'm not sure... Relax. You have to trust someone, right? Would you trust someone with a dead body in their basement? Fair point. But if you want to live, check out the trunk of that blue sedan over by the swing set. Well, okay. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Watch out for those wolves. Could have said the same thing to you when you stepped out your door. Oh, Molly. Why are you like this? Oop, I picked something up, and I didn't read it. That's fine. I don't have to read everything. Well... I guess we're going to find out what Molly has in store for us. I cannot equip my revolver in there. Fine, it's probably religious. It's against their rules to have a gun in a community hall. Okay, of that sedan. Where is the swing set? Jeez. Jeez Louise. Okay. Timberwolves! Timberwolf pack have morale. Indicated by the meter. Timberwolf morale can be broken by shooting or throwing things at them. Packs with broken morale will flee, but may return once they recover. What the? Jeez. Oh, uh. Where's the stupid swing set? Why do I have... Okay, just get into a car. Just get into a car. It's fine. What? Oh, okay. What? Why do I have... Why am I holding a pack of... Oh, that was a direct hit. Uh-huh. So, there are timber wolves now. And they hunt in packs now. Before it was fine when they didn't hunt in packs. Okay, so where is there a swing set? Where is there a sedan? Why am I holding a pack of pack of matches? Oh jeez, man. Jeez. Okay. Is it a little farmer's market or something? That's cool. Where is there Ah, huh, over here. That's a sedan? I'm oh, sure it is. What's in here? Huh? Some more help from Molly. Marine flares are extra blur bright and loud and may ward off timber wolves. Alright. Five of them. Nice! Pleasant Valley Church. Nice. It's a good place. No, I want to <laughs> eventually for knowledge. Or what? 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 Eventually, a source. Evidentially, a source of for knowledge. Yeah, that's for knowledge. All right. Okay. What is this? Oh. Nothing important, really. Oh well, it unlocks a quest. Well, it's, well, it must be important. Well, whatever. I'm gonna wear this scarf, and it'll look awesome. And I will rest here a little bit for the night. Need to rest soon. Yes, just said that. Ah, church flyer. The investigation into our missing artifact continues. Oh, well, uh -huh. I'm going to look for that artifact. 